Well, think farming is important. According to one report, agriculture makes up a quarter of Nebraska's economy. It does. A great event for farmers and ranchers to convene is it's happening at the CenturyLink Center this weekend. Welcome back from the Triumph of Egg Expo, Bob Mancuso. Bobby, yeah, how you doing, sir? Good to see you yeah. again. Good to see you all, yes. So this has become an Omaha tradition for many. How long has this event yes. been around? So this is the 52nd annual Triumph of Egg wow. Expo. So everything to do with farming, ranching, agriculture, as your clip showed, you know, Omaha, we're in Omaha, but around us and even in Omaha, there's a lot of agribusiness. So mm -hmm. it's very important to the economy, all different types of farming and ranching. And it's this Wednesday, Thursday. So Wednesday, Thursday at the CenturyLink Center. There's a lot of stuff that uh, people can learn. Uh, a lot of farmers, a lot of ranchers come out to this. People with those type of backgrounds who maybe aren't in the industry anymore, but uh, there's a lot of good information. What's new for uh, people this year? Well, just technology is always big and it keeps improving. So, you know, just in the big equipment, the combine, some of those types of farm mm -hmm. equipment, but there's also mid-size equipment, um, sprayers that are becoming more technical, we're more precise, they have energy efficiency settings and all those kind of things. So the GPS technology, GPS is some of the big technology, is incredible, isn't oh, it? Oh, crazy. It's just the GPS technology. I mean, they know where they're at yeah. and they can then follow their paths where they've gone in the field, yeah. some of those kind of things with the crop side. Yeah, it so makes crops, them more efficient. So they're not overlapping or they're not missing Absolutely. Spots. Yeah. And it's critical to be efficient in today's world with all the yields and focus on getting more bushels and all mm -hmm. those kind of things with corn, soybeans, all the crop type products. But there's also cattle. So all different types of farm mm -hmm. operations will be presented and things for them to learn and talk to the experts. And speaking of learning, you have seminars, right? Yes. Uh, which seminars are you most excited about and is there a cost for those? No, they're free too. So free admission to the show and then free admission to go to the seminars. Um, there's two, both days. So there's seminars on both days, two seminar rooms going. So very diverse on topics from Al Dutcher, who's the Nebraska State Climatologist. Yeah. He'll be speaking on weather once each day, you know, what to expect this year for 2018. And for the farmers and ranchers, that's always really mm -hmm. important. Right. There's things like Mutual of Omaha is doing a seminar on succession planning mm -hmm. and saving the family farm. So if you're a small farmer looking about passing it down to your children, there's things that you're gonna be able to learn about succession planning and how to do that efficiently and so that your family can keep the farm. Well, there's that whole business side of it that they really need to think about as well. Right. Uh, and there's a luncheon, the opening luncheon. Who's speaking at that? We're really excited. The opening luncheon we have, the featured speaker is Pete McGlyman. He's the executive director of the Nebraska Cattlemen Association. Mm -hmm. So he'll be talking about beef and the beef industry. And Nebraska is now number one. The last couple mm -hmm. years we've been number one in beef and production of beef cattle. So that's really exciting to have him part of the show and he'll be the featured speaker. Then we're also awarding the Agri Award this year is going to Governor Ricketts, mm -hmm. so Nebraska's governor for all he's done in, for agriculture, you know, because yeah. he's done a great job on helping improve our exports, increasing numbers all across the world. So he's, he'll also be speaking, and we're glad to have him there this year winning the Agri Award. Now, if someone wants to attend that opening luncheon, are tickets still available? Yes, they can still get a ticket to the opening luncheon. It does cost $20 basically for your lunch but you can still call in or go online and set a reservation today or tomorrow for the luncheon. Mm -hmm. And that does have a small fee to pay for the lunch. The show itself is free admission. Yeah, but both of those are open to the public. I mean, yes, you can go to the luncheon if you want to, right. or you can go to the show if you want to as well. Exactly. Uh, what do you explain the National Farm Show Council, yeah. what that is and how does that all correlate? The National Farm Show Council is the top 25 shows in the nation. So example would be like the Lexington Show. Mm -hmm. There's one in California, the Tulare uh, Farm Show that are big national outdoor shows, but also there's more mid-size and indoor shows. So we're a member of that Farm Show Council, mm -hmm. the Omaha Triumph of Ag Show. So it's an honor to be a part of that group and it's the top 25 shows in the nation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now incredible. this is the largest event of its kind in the Midwest. Right. What do you think uh, brings people coming back every year? I think Omaha's proximity is really good because we're right in farm country. So all around us, even though we're a, mm -hmm. a cosmopolitan great city, you have all the farm country that's around Omaha. So you get into Iowa, Kansas, Missouri, Western Nebraska, Middle Nebraska, and even then South Dakota. Mm -hmm. So farmers and ranchers from that whole area can come to the show and see everything that's going on. And you do, you draw from that whole pool, Kansas, right. Missouri, Nebraska, Iowa, South right. Dakota. Uh, okay. So there's a lot of farmers and ranchers that do come to the show. Triumph of agriculture. I mean, it's not like you just started this show yesterday, Bob. It's, right. oh, what, 60 years? Over 50 close to 60 years. years. Right. Yeah. 52 years. Yeah, 52 years. Farm and Ranch Machinery Show, Wednesday and Thursday, CenturyLink Center, Omaha. Showofficeonline.com is the website that you can go to. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, Bob, thanks a lot and good luck with the show. Thank, Thank you. you. Great to see you. <laughs> On Friday